Greetings. A warm good morning to one and all. I'm Dr. Nime Maria Oman, Assistant Professor of Education, Titus Second Teachers College, Thiruvalla. I'll be presenting on the theme, Online Learning Resources. Over the world, there is a terrible crisis due to the outbreak of COVID-19. This pandemic has affected the world seriously in almost all walks of life and in all sectors of life. As teachers, we are concerned about the education sector. Will our schools and colleges open during the month of June? In the traditional system of education, in a country like India, we used to stress on classroom instruction. But we have to think about another mechanism, an alternative mechanism, where we can do this teaching effectively. Why? Because we are moving in social distancing. It is here the focus of online learning resources is important. So I have coined the title of my presentation as Insightful Traverse Through Online Learning Resources. Any resource available on the internet in an online educational environment is termed as online learning resources. As given in the slide, it can be documents such as course or chapter objectives, notes, assignments, audio or video lessons or interactive lessons. Now, what are the initiatives taken by the government? Through the Ministry of MHRD, the UGC and its inter-university centers have initiated this. These digital platforms can be accessed freely by teachers, students, and researchers in universities and colleges for learning. Now, the different online website and learning resources are there, but due to time constraint, I'm just presenting the top 10 list. And the first one as given is the Swayam online course. You are all familiar with this course. These courses were earlier delivered on the Swayam platform. Students or learners who registered on Swayam in the January 2020 semester can continue their learning as usual. Now, the UGPG MOOCs host learning material of the Swayam UG and PG and also the archived courses. Next one is one of the largest repository of learning, EPG Padashala, which hosts high quality curriculum based interactive e content covering 23,000 modules in 70 postgraduate disciplines covering almost all disciplines e-content courseware in UG subjects, again, for 87 undergraduate courses. And the content, see the was content is nearing 25,000, I've given the website too. Then Soyam Prabha, again, a popular 32, it's a group of 32 DTA channels providing high quality educational and curriculum based course contents. See, the one peculiarity of all these learning resources is it is multidisciplinary, catering to the diverse needs of the learners, not only in the academic level, but being a lifelong learner or the differentially able learners also who cannot access the regular classroom. Now, these channels are free to wear and can be accessed through the cable operators also. Next is the CEC UGC YouTube channel, which provides access to unlimited educational curriculum based lectures. Again, National Digital Library, again, a digital repository of vast academic content in different formats, which are mainly user friendly also. Shodhkarna, a very familiar repository of all the PhD scholars and those who have completed the PhD. They can go to the site, go to this repository and search for countless number of theses on their discipline and enhance the knowledge. E. Shodzindhu is again another repository where you get uh, information about different kinds of journals, the different studies and articles in it. 
Vidwan, as the name indicates, is a scholarly based database of experts who provides information when the prospective collaborators, funding agencies, policymakers, and the like. Only thing is that the faculty members have to register to this portal so that the base database will get updated. Now, the concept of flexible learning, why it, is it so important? We are not going to undergrade the traditional system of education. But as society is dynamic and society is changing than ever before, we have to switch to other modes. And so the importance of flexible, that is this online learning process. Moreover, it has several advantages like uh, when the class sizes are increasing also, the online platform can be accessed. It's a kind of reduced funding in this new strategic directions, innovative curriculum. The reach is wider and the mileage is great. Then benefits, the learning outcomes is great. We can have large choices of the courses and curriculum notes from these resources day or night it, it is not confined to any time zone then more just in learning options it can enhance the career dreams of learners too it's a global platform we can access the knowledge from uh, even at the end of the from the end of the globe it is more open content it is nothing hidden there most of the learning resources here are free but there are certain uh, paid uh, repositories also where, from which we can access knowledge. So in nutshell, I have presented uh, some important websites here. There are a lot number than this. So I would like to wind up my presentation by giving a note that the online learning resources is like ocean. The learners have to do into this ocean and pick the best through uh, careful and deliberate and dedicated uh, mission. They have to find what is needed for their subject, their curriculum, and keep on reading and repeated reading through which they will be more acquainted with the knowledge available. And so the entire learning process become joyful and the learning will be permanent. With these words, I would like to wind up my presentation and bouquet of gratitude for all the organizers for giving me such a wonderful opportunity. Thank you one and all.